Miss Pedro on set. How you doing today? Hope you can hear me. I'm upstairs um, so that maybe you can hear my voice a little bit better. Um, this uh, Shed Wars 2021 has uh, not been as uh, grand as the prior year, but uh, I'm hoping I uh, contributed to my team. Will it grow? And uh, I know Ruby has in her uh, given milk and butter from the cow and um, I've been blessed and uh, I continue to be blessed and uh, she gave me over 400 and something pounds of uh, milk um, since the last time I weighed it and uh, I've gotten some winter squash and uh, some uh, regular squash and more tomatoes I made salsa with it and I uh, just wanted to tell you I appreciate all of your support and I uh, appreciate your uh, kind comments that you always leave and I uh, want to tell you that uh, it's been very hard for me to make videos um, this uh, past year because uh, I do it all in private and uh, I can't really support like I want and I can't just be out in the garden and talk and, and things and I'm real quiet anyway but uh, I uh, I used to enjoy YouTube more when I had more freedom but uh, just like this country and just like the world it seems like we don't have as much freedom as we used to and, uh, and that really sucks and one day I hope that um, we all can have what we desire and we can and do what we want and be more free as a country and as a person so that we continue to grow and uh, enjoy. This is Shed Wars 2021 and we have some winter squash and I wanted to see how much it would weigh. All the little pretty uh, shapes and things. and. Uh, this is the color it's supposed to look like when it's complete and finished. But I'll pick some and we'll see how much it weighs real quick. We have a scale here. And it's uh, 20 pounds of the uh, winter squash. This is Patriot Home said we have some tomatoes and uh, some lemongrass. And we're going to see how much they weigh. The tomatoes, 3.990 pounds, so four pounds of tomatoes. And got some pretty lemongrass right here. Uh, I'm not going to put it in the basket. Take it out. <laughs> I think that's something. 0.64. Can't really weigh lemongrass. I think that's something. That's crazy. But uh, anyway, it smells good, and uh, it's an herb that I grew, so why not? <laughs> so um, with the tomatoes, I make the uh, salsa with it, and uh, it takes quite a little bit of uh, tomatoes to make it, and then I just add a mix and complete it the rest of the way. But uh, we've been uh, having our share of tomatoes, what we don't eat, and uh, it's a blessing to have all the uh, bounties of uh, tomatoes and uh, bell peppers and things, and this is what we're doing. Here's something funny that you don't see often. It's uh, a cheese in uh, wax, and I use that uh, golf wax, but, you know, I learned after that that's not going to work, so uh, we're going to weigh this just for the heck of it. Well, turn it on, and we're going to weigh it. It's one pound point six five, and uh, I got some more cheese in there, but uh, I'll just calculate it up. This was an experiment. Uh, if y'all want to see what that cheese looks like, we're going to open it up just for the heck of it. See what it looks like inside. I'm learning every day. You can't use gold flax. 
have to use a cheese wax and uh, wax is used for hard cheeses and this is more of a moist cheese and so I get to figure out more about cheese but it's not molded just covered in cheesecloth and uh, still moist in there and uh, I'm gonna open it up you know uh, I'm surprised um, that cheese tastes like cheese, cheddar cheese. Can you believe it? Um, it's getting a little bit of a sharp flavor to it. I opened it up and uh, I was kind of scared, but uh, <laughs> there it is. I'm learning. Um, that's some cheddar cheese. It's white. Look at that. We got some tiny pickles. And it pickles. Yesterday, um, I picked all these uh, muscadines and uh, grapes. Uh, and we're going to see how much they weigh. There's some more on the vines, but this is the most I picked uh, yesterday. And we're going to see um, what it says. It says 4.947 pounds of uh, those beautiful things. I wanted to show that with you because it's something different besides butter and milk and green beans. So uh, there's some muscadines. Mm -hmm. So I have um, plans for these uh, raised beds right here. I want to put my lettuce in them and uh, grow fall crops. I've got like four or five of them. So, uh, that's an update. I want to uh, put some uh, nice uh, soil in here and uh, try to grow me some lettuce and stuff. Continue to share with you my videos of my beautiful animals and uh, that I've been blessed to have. They uh, really make my life uh, more rewarding and uh, I like to share my animals with you because I know that some of us, uh, we can't even have a, well, that y'all might not be able to have a cow or anything. Um, I know it's a longing to live simple. And uh, I wish I could live more simple than I do, but uh, you can't. It's just impossible almost uh, because the way the world is, it's uh, getting harder and harder to uh, have the farm animals and to uh, live that simple life like you once did, like our ancestors did in, uh, in the mountains. If we could go back to them times, uh, some of you might want to go back to those times, but then some of you uh, just are happy with uh, living as you are. But uh, my heart longs to uh, go back to a simpler time. And, and hopefully one of these days um, I can live more simple, simpler than I do now. And uh, it'll be wonderful. And just to work out in the garden and uh, work with the animals Appreciate you. Have a wonderful evening, and uh, God bless you. This is Shell Wars 2021. Uh, thank you for uh, watching, and appreciate your support. Take care.